Welcome to my new series here on Railway Empire. My name is Danny Code, and uh, I've been wanting to play this game for some time now. I bought it on Steam quite a while back, um, but there was a new update just recently, so that brought my interest back, and I thought I would start a new video series. And we're going to start off with the tutorials. Um, the first time I played it, I only played it a few times. I went through the first tutorial. Um, so that won't be too new to me, um, but still it's been a while since I played, so it'll still be kind of new. Um, so let's jump right in. And the tutorials are in the campaign section here, and the first campaign is the tutorial, basically. So that's chapter one. And it's the chapter one, Great Plains, and we're just going to jump right in here. Um, leaving everything as is because there's not much to change anyways. You got the, the pause mode, but <clears throat> excuse me um, But we're just gonna leave that as is, as I said um, So let's get in the rest are just gold diggers who don't have a clue about how this business works Okay, so this guy is the only character that we can choose to play um, In the tutorials but there are more once we get out of the tutorials. Let's go! Time is money. This guy is the industrialist, and he has two bonuses and one negative impact here. Um, the bonuses are newly constructed factories are 50% cheaper and is able to buy a town's factory without an auction. Um, the only negative impact he has is auctions are 50% more expensive. Meticulous planning, tables, figures, and hard facts. What are you saying? Tell me more. Okay, so Roger Smythe, and that's what who he is, I guess. And we're playing under Union Pacific Railroad. Some. In 1863, on the banks of the Missouri River, the last chapter in the monumental undertaking of the Transcontinental Railroad began. The workers of the Union Pacific Railroad began laying their tracks westward from Omaha through the wild heart of the North American continent. Massive challenges awaited them. Away from all civilization, the country was vast, the weather ruthless, and the challenges tremendously energy sapping. But there was a masterstroke of modern engineering to be accomplished, to tame the wilderness and to conquer it with steel, fire, and steam. Never before had anything like this been ventured, but the time was ripe. Greetings. My name is Thomas Clark Durand, exactly, the head of Union Pacific. We will go down in history as the ones who created the Transcontinental Railroad. And that, my friend, is your job as chief engineer. I can supervise everything here on site right now, as I have to meet with some politicians in Washington. <laughs> First, you should familiarize yourself with the basic controls. Move the camera in all directions. Okay, so pretty basic here. WASD. For camera controls, we got left, or I mean, excuse me, right, left, up, down. Now test the camera's zoom function. Zooming in and zooming out. You can also rotate the camera. Give it a try. Giving it a try. Very good. Now you know the basic controls. Your first task is to create a rail connection between Omaha and Norfolk to the northwest. Both cities will need a station for this. You already have a station in Omaha, but you still need to build one in Norfolk. To do this, switch to building construction mode. Okay, so building construction mode is up here in the menu here, and we just need a small station. And we're gonna build that in Norfolk. Um, small bit of trivia, that's where I live. Very good. Now the two stations need to be connected with tracks. To do this, Switch to track construction mode. All right, so track construction mode right next to build construction. 
Now plan the tracks between the stations in Norfolk and Omaha. To do this, select the two station tracks one after the other. Then pay for your track planning. Okay, so all we have to do is click on this little yellow cone, make it green, and then we'll click on that and we'll start the construction. And then we're gonna look for our other end in Omaha. And just click on here and there we go. So it hasn't actually built the rail yet. Right here is just where the rail is going to be. Um, it gives you a chance to edit it and we'll do, we'll look at that later. Um, but basically you could put points in here and kind of move it around. Um, if the automatic track, you know, automatic lane of the track routing here is not optimal or is gonna cause some issues. But okay, but right now this one is good. Everything is green. Um, there's a zero incline. So we're gonna buy that. Now create your first train so that you can set up a rail line between your stations. Okay, so we're gonna buy our train. Initially your train only exists on paper. It's not much use to you without a locomotive. Okay, so add a locomotive. And we only have one to choose from here, so that's the one we're going to choose, obviously. Um, there's a bunch of information on the screen. Um, we'll get into that later. Um, but for now, we're just going to buy it and... Additionally, each train needs a rail line that passes through all the stations it should stop at. Okay. Um, set up the rail now line. Now join your two stations to the rail line by selecting them one after the other. So basically, all we have to do is, in order... Um, we'll select what stations we want it to go to. So if we want to start here in Omaha, we'll select that first and then select Norfolk next. Or if we want to start in Norfolk, we start, we click Norfolk first and then click in Omaha next. So that we wanted to, but it doesn't really matter at this stage. So we'll just click on Omaha and you see a little number one here. That's the first station. And then uh, we'll click on Norfolk. That's enough that's for your first two. rail line. Now confirm it so it becomes active. And there's a number two above Norfolk. And also in this game, it gives you a, um, as the crow flies representation of what the uh, route will look like. Okay, so not concerned about anything here for now. We just need an automatic loading. Very good. Now you can see the journey your train will take. If there is something to transport, the train will automatically take it. Okay, and there's our train. However, as each locomotive needs water, sand, and lubricant on its journey, you have to place a supply tower along the route. All right, so we're going to place a supply tower, which where do they want us to put it? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Where is it here? Uh, not telling us. But that's okay. Let's select the supply tower in a construction building construction menu here. And supply. Oh, there it is. So we just have to select the menu, I guess. And supply tower. And we'll shh to get down here. Very good. The train is now traveling between Omaha and Norfolk. But you can do even more. Each city needs goods from the surrounding area. For example, every city needs corn. Look, there is a corn farm near Omaha. Until now, the corn has made it to the city in the conventional way. But we want to change that. Now construct a rural train station in the marked location with a corn farm within its radius. Okay. So let's find the corn farm and we'll stick a station on it and connect it up to Omaha. And here's the corn farm here. And I kind of want to rotate the station down on the bottom here. Um, here, down at the bottom. Um, you'll have a little contextual menu here that'll tell you how to do things that you're that you need to know, like rotate stations, or when you go to build signals, it'll show you how to 
do that as well, or it'll tell you how to do that as well. Um, but right now it says uh, to rotate a building, we need to do shift and the scroll wheel or the mouse wheel. And I just want to line it up a little bit better to Omaha. I think that's okay. So it's green, so it'll pick up the corn from the farm. If it was red, I think it's too close. Uh, if it's not any color, so I think we can go all the way out here, we'll still get the corn. And how far do we, there we go. Okay, so if I put it here, obviously we wouldn't be getting any corn from the farm, so. The, cor the <clears throat> excuse me again, the uh, area around the Corn farm is green, so that means we'll be getting corn. Same thing with stations. Um, so you want to make sure that you, when you're putting down your station near a um, city, that as much of the city is in green as possible. Now connect the new rural train station to the station in Omaha. Okay, so we will connect that up by clicking here. Oh, I bought a bigger station than I needed to. That's all right. So we will select that track here, the end of that track here, and connect it up to the end of the track in the station in Omaha. And it looks good. And we'll just pay and build. And now things are getting tricky as we have to deal with the logistical problem. As Norfolk should also enjoy fresh corn, there will soon be two trains traveling on the stretch of track between Omaha and Norfolk. Of course, this will then result in a conflict. Since trains cannot travel through each other, you'll need a side track between Omaha and Norfolk. This consists of one parallel track and two signals. First, create a side track. It needs to be at least long enough for a fully loaded train. Okay, so what Thomas is telling us here is that we need to do, need to create a double track between these two points and connect them up. So we're already in track construction, so we can just kind of go down here, and right before here, and we're going to start on the track there and come out and start our double track. And then go down to our other point. Click to put a point in there. And then connect it up to the main rail here. And that'll work. And let's pay and build. Excellent. However, your trains won't necessarily use the sidetrack as they generally always take the shortest route. For this reason, you also have to specify the direction of travel on each parallel track. Now open building construction mode and set up a signal in the highlighted area pointing in the direction of the switch. Trains will then be able to stop here when the single track is in use. Okay, so we're going to put some switches on here to tell the trains where to go. And again, down at the bottom here, as I was saying earlier, we have a little contextual menu um, to show you how to set up signals. So what is it telling us? It's telling us to construct a directional signal, which is the one we want. Um, it's going to be shift and then the right and, uh, excuse me, left mouse button. There we go. And now we want to change the direction of the signal, so just left mouse button. Excellent. Now do the same on the parallel track so that each parallel track has a different direction. Place a second signal in the highlighted area and block the track to trains coming from the opposite direction. Okay, so we will set up a signal on the main rail, making sure that trains coming this way go here. Make sure trains that are going this way just kind of stay on that. Let's stay on the main rail. So what do we need here? We need a signal and we need here. And again, shift and left mouse button for a directional signal. And then to change the direction, uh, left mouse button one more time. Dot, dot, 
Did I do it wrong? <laughs> uh, okay, well, so let's remove signal so that's control. There, let's try that again. So we want shift and directional signal, and then change the direction of signal. Very there good. You go. I'm sure that it wasn't at all easy. No, it was not. You will soon come to realize that signals are an important aid in guaranteeing smooth rail operations. You will find more information and tips under Hints and Tips. Thank you. Now assemble a new train and give it a locomotive and a rail line. Your new rail line should run via Omaha to Norfolk so that the people of Norfolk can be supplied with corn. Okay, so what he's telling us to do, our good friend Thomas here, is to set up a rail line between, well, starting at the Evans Farm here, going to Omaha, and then going to Norfolk, and then all the way back to Evans Farm again. Um, simple enough. So we want to um, buy a new train. and then set up a new line. Again, um, we're gonna start in Evans Farm, so we'll click that one first, excuse me, for the camera motion here. We're going to Omaha next, and then we are going to Norfolk, and that is it. So we're going from Evans Farm to Omaha to Norfolk, all the way back to Evans Farm again. Excellent. The corn farm will automatically make use of your train because the cities along your rail line are demanding corn. Conventional transportation is much more costly for the farm. We're still missing something. Locomotives wear out over time and need to be regularly maintained so they can perform their duties more reliably. For this purpose, there needs to be at least one maintenance building on each rail line where locomotives can be serviced if necessary. Construct such a maintenance building at your station in Omaha now. To do this, select the station itself and expand the station with this building. Okay, so we're going to go over to Omaha here. And click on the train station. Construct maintenance building. And confirm. Right, we've been lollygagging for long enough. I need to return to Washington for further miserable negotiations with our representatives of the people. Uh, I've written a task list for you. Take a look at it and complete the tasks within the given time period. Do not disappoint me. Okay, so that's where we're going to leave it here for this video. In the next video, we will actually go over those tasks. Um, and there's eight of them. We have to connect Omaha to North Plate, uh, then connect Omaha to Cheyenne as well and deliver 16 loads of cattle to Denver, deliver 16 loads of meat to Cheyenne, connect 150 people, 150,000 people to your rail network, and reach a population of 30,000 in Cheyenne, connect Omaha to Rock Springs, and finally transport 100 passengers to, uh, excuse me, from Cheyenne to Rock Springs without stopping. All right, so we'll take care of all that in the next video. Uh, but I want to do a little bit of a ride along on our train here. Where are we at? Okay, so we're here. And let's do a quick ride along. That's kind of neat. Blow the whistle. Nice, and it looks like we're coming up to Norfolk here. We can change the camera view. That's pretty cool. I like it. Oh yeah. We got rear view camera here. We got right, left, and front. Very cool. Okay, that's where we leave it now. And thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you like this video and want to see more, please like. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments below.
Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.